Your child's are going through a red light on Eddie and Dudley. I'm a little compromised with my hearing. You're going to jail for 10 years. 미국 로드 아일랜드주 프로비던스 지방 법원. 이곳에는 노 판사가 있습니다. 80세가 넘은 프랭크 카프리오 판사의 판결은 미국뿐만 아니라 전 세계에 알려져 있을 정도인데요. 그의 판결 방식이 다른 판사들과 다르기 때문이죠. 단순히 관대한 판결을 내리기 때문에 유명한 게 아닙니다. 우선 그는 피고인 한명한 한 명의 사연을 충분히 들어줍니다. 피고인들은 재판을 통해 처벌을 받지만 동시에 치유도 받은 것 같은 표정으로 법정을 떠났는데요. 상황에 따라 범칙금을 줄여주기도 하고 아예 감면해 주기도 합니다. 그의 판결이 어떻길래 이토록 많은 사람들을 감동하게 만드는지 함께 보시겠어요? Different registrations. You have five tickets. They go back to 2004, 2005, and 2006. Can you prosecute those tickets? No, Your Honor. Not from 04, 05. Um, we won't even have copies of those, Your Honor. Those matters are going to be dismissed. I wasn't aware of them anyway. I'm sorry. Well, I thank mean, you. The issue isn't whether you are aware of them. The issue is whether or not they were placed on the vehicle, and they yeah. were. At the time, you were living on 9th Street in Woonsocket. We're keeping track of you. <laughs> Then you got a ticket on Friendship Street in 2008. That was a parking meter on Friendship Street. That's going to cost you $25. Then you have a parking meter in 2014 on Friendship Street. It's going to cost you $25. <clears throat> So, so far you're doing pretty good because all you got is $50. And now you have four parking tickets. Are you talking about the most recent ones Most now? recent ones, right. All right, the on one the, on 11-1. On the Nissan. Yeah, the one on 11-1, I went to Social Security because they had cut my check. Because my son was recently killed last year. So they cut my check because Who? he had old money. Who? My son was oh. killed. March of last year, right? <laughs> so I was his rep payee. So they took my money because he had old money. So I had to go to Social Security to fix that matter. When I came out, my, I had a ticket. Then another time on the 5th, the parking meter wasn't working. I have the picture for that. On 1-4, I was at court because my uh, landlord was trying to evict me. So I was at eviction court. Come out, I got a ticket. Mind you, he won possession of the apartment, so I had to move. So I got a ticket, he won possession of the apartment. Then I get another one because I tried to go to the legal services to try to get help to fix this. I go get some change out of Dunkin' Donuts, come out, I got a $100 ticket. What was the- It's like uh, I can't <clears throat> win. What was the situation with the mix-up in Social Security with your son? My son was killed last year, March of last year. They said that he owed $75 of overpayment from May of 2016. Mind you, he was already deceased at that time. So what they did was they stopped my whole check until I went in there to fix the problem. So when I came out, right. I had a parking ticket. All right, all right, all right. All right. <clears throat> I've had a tough year already. I, I really, I'm on SSDI. I don't, I don't have $400 to give you on top of whatever else. I really do. I just had to come up with money for a new apartment. I'm still paying Russell and Boyle for my son's funeral. Like, I, I don't know where this money's supposed to come from. I'm just really having a tough time, Your Honor. I think we can all express our sympathy to you yes. and understand the trauma that you have experienced. <clears throat> I'm still going back and forth to court for that. There's still emotions and... I don't know. I'm going to take all of the circumstances that you just have explained to me into consideration <clears throat> and see if I can balance the equities to protect the interest of the city and take into consideration, you know, the horrific 
story that you just told us relative to your son. I don't think anyone in their lifetime would ever want to experience that, so. It's the worst feeling in the world. I feel so empty, Lord. I'm going to reduce this to uh, $50. How much time do you need to pay it? I have it on me now. All right. That's not going to leave you without any money, is it? I'll leave it with $5. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> I'm not going to leave you with $5. I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to, I'm going to dismiss everything. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> With our best wishes and hope that things turn around good for you. Okay. Thank you, good, good luck to you. Your child's are going through a red light on Eddie and Dudley. I'm a little compromised with my hearing. You're going to jail for 10 years. Good. Right. I, need, that? I need the rest. <laughs> she needs the rest. <laughs> she heard that. Yeah. We're going to show you the video. Fine. Take a look. Yeah. <laughs> And so the question is, did you stop? It was a rolling stop. A rolling stop. I see. Which means you did not stop. Right. Okay. You always were honest. <laughs> <laughs> the story is, where were you going? My, I was going with my daughter to a, uh, her cancer doctor at the hospital. Uh, you had a doctor's appointment? Yes. Okay. What do you think about that, Inspector Carrigan? Through the circumstances where she was going around in the city, we moved to dismiss. Yeah. There's a little more on her plate than this. I asked you uh, for a recommendation, right, only because I would probably have had to ex recuse myself, because I've known Evelyn for a long, long time. Uh, uh, Evelyn now you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn, uh, beans. <laughs> Evelyn used to work at, the, uh, at a place called the Chalet Restaurant in uh, North Providence. A long time ago, uh, yeah. and I would go there occasionally. So I, I, my, my, my wife and I would go, and we knew Evelyn and uh, all the people that worked there. There was just a wonderful place to go. So, Evelyn, want me to tell any of your secrets or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to? <laughs> Based on the recommendation of Inspector Carrigan, the matter is dismissed. Thank you. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What do you do? Are you a student? Um, I recently graduated um, in May. I work at Rhode Island Hospital, and that's why I have that ticket. On Eddie and Dudley? Yes. Yeah, this is a sign that says, right on red after stop. Did you stop? Um, I believe I yielded. You yielded? Instead of stopped. Oh. Oh, you thought the sign said yield? No, I knew it said um, stop. <laughs> but I was doing one of those fast turns. All right. This was at uh, 5.30 in the evening. Were you on your way to work or were you coming? I just finished um, doing a 16-hour shift and I was trying to go home. How many hours? 60? 16. 16. Yeah, double. Yeah. yeah. What do you do? Um, I'm a CNA. Inspector <laughs> Carrier, Car Car what do you think about this? Oh, she definitely went through the red light. She's definitely guilty, huh? But as in your opinion, is take into the consideration of what she does. Um, much harder job than I have. So I agree. Yeah. So do I. <laughs> He's on the SWAT team. Hey, what he said, he asked me to dismiss your case. Oh, really? All right, based on Inspector Carrigan's recommendation, the matter is dismissed. Thank you. Can I say that openly, Judge? I do appreciate yeah. it.